Hi, I'm Todd Anderson. Hey, Tom Ross. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. Happy Monday, everyone. Today we're going to be playing a little more standard featuring Shadows over Innistrad. Yay. About half of the set is spoiled thus far. Uh, a lot of really sweet goodies. Uh, the decks we played with last week, a little, I want to say, half-baked. Yeah, your deck was half-baked. My, <laughs> I played Monored Eldrazi last week, which is already a complete deck. Yeah. So I was advantaged. Pretty lucky. Uh, today we're going to be playing uh, a couple decks based on, uh, 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 based around some some very specifically you know, synergistic or good new cards. Uh, today I'm, I'm going to be playing a Black Green Collected Company deck featuring Relentless Dead and uh, Diagraph Colossus. Yep. So uh, a little bit of a mini zombie theme here in this Collected Company deck. I'm not sure how good Diagraph Colossus is going to be. Relentless Dead, I think, is already uh, looking pretty solid. Yeah, solid just all the time. <laughs> As an attacker, as a value creature in a zombie deck, or not a zombie deck. Yeah, the fact that it can block blew me away, you know? Like, you, it has the, the clause whenever it dies, you just pay a black mana, it comes back to your hand. Usually cards like that have the clause where you can't block specifically because they don't want a creature that can just sit there, jump, jump, yeah, jump. It's keep very replaying. good. Yeah, the card is, is phenomenal, and uh, hopefully we get to bring back some uh, Nantuko husks with it or something like that. That'd be sweet. Tom, what are you playing today? Just a black green, not black green, a red green deck featuring Arlen Cord. It's kind of planeswalker It's kind of a uh, tokeny. Um, just a, my first impression of what an Arlen Cord deck should be. So I don't know. It's just full of cards. Some some token makers, some anthem effects. Just twenty six lands. Yeah, uh, you know, when I was looking at Arlen Cord, she reminded me a lot of Garrick Relentless, both in being able to make like a stream of two twos, while also being a, have uh, the having the ability to like you know tick down and deal like around three damage to a creature. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we've had. Uh, a card like this before in Garrick Relentless, and, and it was format defining. And but the thing about Arlen Court is that she can't come in and deal three immediately, whereas right. Garrick Relentless could. So it might be a little bit different because you know she could get attacked by like a flyer or something like that before you can actually deal with it. Yeah, deck doesn't have much like pinpoint removal. Plays cards like Roast and Oath of Chandra and Arlen Court, which takes a little while to to remove something. So I don't know that's a weakness of the deck definitely, but the rest of the deck. I don't know. Yeah, All I mean, right. it's got Chandra, right? It's got to be good. Uh, that is a removal spell. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, let's go ahead and get to the match and see who takes it down. Black Green Company versus Red Green Arlen Cord. Mid-range stuff. Mid-range stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we're here for the die roll. See who goes first. High roll. Seven. Three. Defeated. Wow. That's so small, Tom. You should have rolled higher. Uh, I didn't want to. <laughs> you like being on the draw? All right, well, taking a look at this opening here, we got uh, two lands, uh, but we have both colors, which is nice, and a couple of two drops. We'd really like to draw one more land so that we can actually turn on Lily, but hopefully Visionary will help us do that. Sounds like I have the exact same hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh. Play that one, because it's for sure coming into play tapped. Um... Uh... All right, well, we drew another tap land, but I think it's important to just get some stuff on the board. So uh, we'll start with an Elvis Visionary and say go. All right, drew an untapped land, which makes me more apt to play. I don't know what I'm playing. I don't know what you're playing either, Tom. I can't see your hand. If I had to guess, it would just be hanging back walkers. That's a good <laughs> guess. <laughs> Playing this here game trail, revealing a mountain. All right. I'll cast a 2-3 creature. Huh. That is big. It is bigger it. than basically every creature in my deck. All right. Well, we drew an untapped land, but uh, I'm not sure if I need to just, like, cast Liliana right now. I'd much rather uh, have a turn where I get to play her and then flip her with something, like a Fleshbag Marauder or what have you. So we'll keep putting some random doofuses on the board. Here we go. Silver Navigate might actually be pretty good in this deck. Um, mine is a very rough draft of what I think a Black Green Company deck may look like. I think Relentless Dead is fine. I'm not sure if you actually need like Diagraph Colossus and a bunch of uh, you know zombie theme cards, but all right, 19 me. Yep, go. All right, no real reason to attack unless we. Well, we, I guess we could play Lily first. Hmm. True. All right. 
I'll play Lily. So if I attack with both, there's a chance that uh, he just like, I guess, Homp's Visionary flips this. And then I can't really protect Lily from an attack, but if I just attack with one of them, yeah, I'll attack with just this one. So Lily start off, let me read this card right quick. Cause I can attack it pretty well. Starts on three, probably goes up to five. Mm -hmm. So you just get Relentless Dead back to your hand, and attack it for at least three. This card can attack. Okay, two. Okay, we'll just block him. All right, so I'll pay a black, return this to my hand. Lily flips. I get a zombie. Uh, what would I discard if I were to discard? Yeah, I'm definitely going to just stick up. And... I guess I'll just pitch this. I want all my lands. Here you go. I'm discarding your removal spell is probably bad for me. I think I need to sleeve up this zombie. Let's see it better. Black token versus a uh, black background. Yeah. All right. Let's play this ah, my duck. <laughs> my slobber mile drivers. <laughs> Slobbering mile driver. Okay. So I'm tacking that Liliana for three. <laughs> All right. Then I'm done. I guess if I were to discard, I'd discard this. Let's see what he does. Hmm. All right. We're going to go. Diagraph Colossus and Relentless Dead and make a zombie. Is it tapped or nope. untapped? Untapped. <laughs> nope, it is tapped. You're right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, now what? I could just bring back a cutthroat. Lily is probably going to die. How many cards do you have in hand? Three. I do have this extra land. All right, maybe we get one more discard okay. out of it. Go. Do I definitely want to kill Lily or not? I mean, he basically I'm trading four points of damage for Zulaport Cutthroat, which I think is okay. And he probably has a sack of token. He could have something else here, and then I'm just in a ton of trouble. We're definitely going to love our sideboard in this matchup since we have a bunch of uh, Ministers of Pain to help out against all these tokens. Could just play all my cards. Good. Yeah, Mize. We're going to attack that Liliana. Going to morph in a 1 1. <laughs> okay. No, I'm done. All right. Get you a morph token while I take my turn. Mirror. So I ain't got no more cards in hand, so this Lily is basically dead money. Can't really attack. Can't really do much of anything. Uh -huh. Hard lock. So it is a hardish lock. Hmm. It's possible that I might want to consider some number of Minister of Pain in the main deck for situations like this. Like I basically am just I don't know. I, I can't really think of, like, a, a draw in my deck where I actually get out of this. Probably starts with Collected Company. Yeah. All right. Well, tick up and... Yeah, sure. <laughs> Might as well. Are you hitting me? Rude. Thinking about it. Uh... Yeah, just attack with that. Might as well. Take that hit. Go. I'm coming up the ground quite well, but doesn't work very hmm. well against Thopters. What does this magic card do for me? I don't know. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna cast it. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a two-two. Get a wolf. I need a wolf. I can already attack his Liliana to death. All right. Oh. Zero, make a wolf. Clog up the board a little bit more. All right. She becomes Arlen, embraced by the moon. 
All right, these three topsters attack Liliana. Lily down. That's all I need to be doing. All right, go. Dude, I want, I want to shoot this cutthroat at some point in time. <laughs> I guess overrun ish. I don't even know. Borsu clog for me to be thinking too hard. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is basically a free roll attack because he's he can just block it, but then I get to replay it and make a zombie. So yeah, jam. Uh, so I get drained. So I could. I guess I just leave him with the least number of options, which is just blocking one of these two. All right. Pay black. Drain you. Nineteen, eighteen. Uh, I have myself at nineteen, so I think I go up to twenty. Oh yeah. Wait, and you go right. to 17. 17 20. You right. <laughs> All right. Then I'll play it. Make a tab zombie. Dang. Then I'll play another one and take one down to 19 and make another tab zombie. <coughs> okay. So cool little combo here. Hero. So I better kill his stuff, I think. One day. Yeah. <laughs> now what? What can I hit him for? Like 10? If I level hanger back, shoot, shoot him with a Pia, or shoot something. Probably his cutthroat with the Pia. Then I can plus one this, give him all trample and stuff. Maybe this can come in too, which is wise. Might, might as well. Whatever. Let's do that. That line sounds great. Okay. And throw it at that. Drain you. I'm drained. 20 is 16. And you get three more thopters. You overrun me. I guess. I guess this five thing do kills. Why you have a force and tap? How'd that even happen? Because I had to <laughs> spin a black to get a thing back, and then spin all my black to cast these two. Yeah, this is probably enough. Does it get haste too? Oh, this gives it haste. Oh wow, jeez, that's great. It just hit me for twelve. Whatever. Yeah, sounds like a basically minus. dead at eight. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm done. Is that good? It doesn't do anything. I quit. <laughs> I had a den protector. Surprise! I, I figured. All right, I'm on the play here for game two. I'm on the mulligan. Our hand is uh, not bad for six, and we get a scry. So let's take a look at the top card and see what happens. So. I think I just want Cocos and Creatures at this point with what our, how our hand looks. So yeah, that card's good, but I think we just have to put it on bottom. I said it's kind of poor, but I kind of don't mind drawing about one more land. So I have cards like Chandra and Sylvan Africa and Dim Protector in my deck. So. Sure. Take one, play Relentless Dead, get my beats on. Yeah. Yo. Whoop ya. Menace. Husk goo. What you know about Nantuko husk? I don't know. Not much. <laughs> oh, not all that much. <laughs> I just do a whole bunch of blocking. Maybe not. Maybe yeah, I do a whole little amount of blocking. Right, that, that'll attack you. Hmm. Don't really want to sack Relentless Dead here when I can maybe get it back next turn. Plus, if I go block sack uh, and then post combat, he just plays uh, Uta Chandra. We lose the only pressure I really have. So, if we're really inclined to cast this roof. <coughs> Tilt. <laughs> What are you gonna target? I don't know. Probably. We really like this dead, I guess. Yay. Alright, now we need to do a draw another relentless dead and then we go off. True. Attack. Could sack a quagmire or something? Could. 
All right, take it. 16. Go. Guess I got D up a little bit. I don't want to reveal anything in my hand. <laughs> Give me a wolf. All right. Transform. Transform. Uh, in response to the activated ability, though, I'm going <coughs> to cast Coco. <coughs> Okay. In case I hit a Fleshbag Marauder, I want to get rid of the Advocate instead of the Wolf. Great. Really? Just flat bricks? You prevented me from attacking with your leaving up 4 mana. 4 mana gain 2 life. It's like draw 6 cards if you put away 6 blanks. That's the way I see it. Go. You didn't attack? Oh, you responded. That's so I can attack now. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I want to try to kill the Wolf. Ooh, alright. Alright, 15. I'm doing. I try. To, I wanted to try to kill the advocate, and not the wolf. I like it. Draw a flashback, Marauder. No, it's gonna ruin his path, Arlen Cord, I guess. All my pressure. Go. I take one. I'm at fourteen. Oh, forgot I had this card in my deck. Boom. Nah. I'm dead. All right, I'm at 10. I think I want to make a plant. Plant's tight? Yeah, I'm done. Well, I find my plant. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take one. Play two Zulaport Cutthroats. Jesus. I'm at nine. And then I'm going to attack Nissa. All right, go. So I'll cast this and see if I find anything cool. Arlen Cord, yay. She is cool. Dang, I can attack you with a lot of stuff, can't I? I don't know. That forest. I'm not sure any place to show you that forest, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So make a wolf. Where's he at? There he is. Minus my Nissa. I think I just attack you with just Sylvan Advocate. Oh, okay. Protect my fellows. Uh, go to six. Oh no, it's, it's big, right? It's so five, five. I go to four. Uh, it's five power because of the. Oh, you took a point of damage last turn. Okay. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. All right, let's see if I can whiff again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We didn't whiff. You want to no. Uh, so enters the battlefield with one counter. Okay. Hmm. This is kind of tough. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get overran, but I can survive probably one more turn with the Zulu ports. But the, the I can do some like tricky stuff where <clears throat> I can like sacrifice the Diagraph, flip Lily, uh, like get back Relentless dead. Maybe I just say go and then try to block and survive and then try to kill him next turn. That actually seems okay. If I attack with Husk, he'll block. We'll flip this and get back a dead to block with. What happens if he blocks with everybody? I think I just let it sack like one thing. <coughs> He blocks with just the five six. I sacrifice like two things. All right, whatever. Take you. E. Yeah, I think you just die if you take it. Not positive. You're probably right. Boom. Yeah, I block with this wolf here. All right, sack this. 
Drain you for two. You're at 14. I go to six. Lily flips. You got two cards in hand. Yep. You get a zombie. Um. All right, whatever. Get us back. All right. <coughs> Go. Uh, let me see six. This is ooh, perfect. Tap this six man right here. Play hang it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it was something like that. I think this is. I think lethal is close to it. Yeah. I'm guessing it's probably lethal. It's five, and this is seven, so it's twelve. Plus all that. And they all trample, right? So I can't even really block and sacrifice. Yeah, I think I got your moss this. Plus this. Alright, these all have two. They're all attacking you. Alright, so. This is seven. This is five. This is twelve. Uh, so 15, 18. Uh, so I could go gain two, four, six, seven. Let's see, can I block? Tramp trample's ferocious. Yeah, trample is good. So right now, let's see, this is five, eight, eleven. I could go <coughs> block six on here. Still take one from that. Yeah, I'm just dead. All right, so I don't know what to do about these Gold Knight Cascaders. I kind of want to play them, but I don't know what to take out for them. Maybe they just don't belong on my sideboard, but they are pretty cool. Maybe after a game or two, I'll, <clears throat> I'll figure out if I want them or not. But anyway, I'm just upgrading my roast to burn from within. This can kill Relentless Dead and things like Silaport Cutthroat. Uh, most of the creatures are small, so I don't think I'll need roast. I'll still have like Oath of Chandra, too, mm -hmm. to kill the small stuff. But pretty much, I think I just want to go bigger than him, and bigger and wider, and win like that. All right, my side, uh, Flesh Bag is pretty bad against his Hangerback Walker, Thopter Engineer deck, so we're going to be trimming those. And because we're cutting the zombies, uh, or a few zombies out of the deck, I think Diagraph Colossus gets a lot worse. So we're going to be cutting this guy, too, in favor of Mr. Pain to help take care of all of his tokens. I might also do some weird stuff if he decides to block uh, my creatures and, and if I make, like, a weird attack. Some Netcaster Spiders to help out against the Thopters, um, and then two copies of Duress to hopefully strip away a Planeswalker, but we don't really want to overload on this card. Uh, there's a decent chance it just misses, and uh, but I think there's going to be some spots where we have just, like, an extra mana floating around, and if we do, we can maybe take away, like, a Chandra or a Arlen Cord, so... All right, uh, here for game three on the play again with the seven. We desperately need one more land. Can't really function without it, but uh, I think you got to keep hands like this. I'm not yeah, positive. I think you got to keep hands like this too. Pull a bunch of lands. Just gotta hope to draw spells. I guess. Go. Still have Chandra and stuff in my deck. Go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just go ahead and grasp that guy. Hmm. See how it works. Go. <laughs> Throw it by net. Oh, shoot. <coughs> now what? <laughs> Guess I'll pop Doctor, it. Doctor Engineer, pass. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 1920. Yep. The rest, you get your Arlen cord. <laughs> Nothing? Just a bunch of lands? Nah, ugh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> now what? Guess I'll make a 2 2. Man, card is good. Oh, you're going to take 2 in the turn. All right, I'm at 16. And you get a wolf? Yeah, I got a wolf. I just make sure I know all the stuff she does. <laughs> so minus one deals three damage to a target, and then she can flip back. Uh, but mostly it's just overrun every single turn. And you have a den protector in hand, so I can't really even deal with it. Ugh. My deck's great. Your deck, the most medium deck I've ever <laughs> seen. 
Just rares. But mine. Deal. Yeah. And Thopter Engineer. Rare, <laughs> all rares and Thopter Engineer. It's a powerful strat. Okay. Go. Me and my netcaster spiders. No, you don't deal me two every turn. And you don't get a two every time you transform. I know what she was thinking. It's unlucky. Unlucky? That's such a good rate already. It's already searing blaze me. Okay, three to that, I guess. Oop. I think I want to play a stim protector. Okay, what's up? Okay, 13. There. Go. Oh. My morph token at. All right, Grasp of Darkness, your old protector. Bring back Hanger back, Walker. Yep. Good. Talk Arlen for one. All right. Play Relentless Dead, say go. Think I want a wolf. Good old girl back. Just day and night over there. I'm sorry. Mm, get this hanger back for one. I guess these are hitting you. Yep, yep, there they are. I'm a nine. Alright, your turn. Great. I don't know what I can do. Can't do anything. I'm about to level up my hanger back, Walker. Yeah, you win again. Haste. For the audience. All right, so I'm gonna try these Gold Knight Cascaders, just shaving a little bit of everything. Want to have a chance to play with her and cast her. Seems decent in this matchup. So might as well. Let's rock. Ugh. All right, here for game four. Let's see if I can maybe win one of these next two games. Uh, this hand looks okay. We kind of want to land to come to play untapped uh, soonish, but uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, keep go. Some land, I guess. Ooh, go. Go. Oh no. I haven't drawn the land yet, but I got spells to cast. That's weird. I don't. Go. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I really wanted a land that came to play untapped or a two drop instead of damage. Drew. Yep. 17. Your turn. Come on, deck. Alright, go. Whoa. Man, even if I draw land and Coco, probably just gonna miss. I have all my creatures in my hand. I don't wanna cast my Dim Protector. Yeah, my eyes. Or Oath of Chandra that. Is this four damage? 13. Your turn. <sighs> Pop this. Kill them two. Go. Just because I want to cast it. <laughs> and because it's great. <laughs> just smash me for seven with six. There we go. Go. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, go. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's get this slaughter over with. Go. <laughs> Three lands, some four drops. Okay, I'm going to play this game trail villain this forest and cast this. All right. I think I won't. I don't know. I got all the lands I need. I don't think this works good for me. All right, we're going for it. I'm sorry, here it is. I think because you did that, I actually get to thought seize you now. Yeah, whatever. All right. Draw oh, go. Three drop. I'm sorry. Get my call the card back. Here we go. Come on. What's up? Go. <laughs> just damn it. Ah. I just drew a bad card. Anyway, I deserve it. Here, kill that. Go. 
You're gonna kill this? Yeah, why not? Cause it's a one one. Who yeah, cares? <laughs> See, he he doesn't even care anymore. He's not even taking this seriously. Go, just destroying me. Yep. Go, go. Do you have any force left in your deck? Yep. <laughs> hmm. Duress you. Got an Arlen cord for you. Yay, I got one. All right. Play Relentless Dead Tech. So I can bounce your guy. And not take four. Seems okay. You take one. All right, block it. All right. Uh, go to, what, 19? You're still 20? Yeah, I guess. Here you go. Ooh. Like sure you want to play that gold knight castigator I might I might just have it on D for a second yeah I might just die <laughs> Will I just die? no you can block with it but yeah. better not attack with it go so I gotta deal five damage to it to kill it basically yep. or four and a half <laughs> four and nine out of a 13 Ooh. all right play this play this uh oh. Don't think I really want to trade both of these for Gold Knight Castigator. So just say go. Hmm. 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 Oh. Hmm. hmm. Got five lands in play now? I do have five lands in play, as do you. Would you All like right. to, would you like to battle me for four? No, nah, go ahead. <laughs> A dangerous game you play. But it's a fun game, huh? Okay. My hard lock now? What's going on? Hard locked? <laughs> Can't just go like sack relentless dead, pay black, recast it. Cool. All right. So I can just attack with this too. There's not much downside. Maybe I want it for blocking purposes next turn if he does not block husk. Oh no, he has a block husk. He's just gonna die otherwise. Yeah, kinda. Hmm. This is tough ish. Attack. Want my Nissa to die? Maybe. Whatever. Hmm. Just sack both these things. Kill this. Kill Nissa. Get this back. I don't hate that, actually. Yeah. Alright. Drain you for three. Pump this. You okay. Uh, so 22 to 17, then I'll kill Nissa, pay it black, get it back. How much should I get green for? Four? Because you dealt combat damage before that thing died. I'm sorry? <clears throat> I got drain for four, right? No, just three, because I have to sack them one at a time. So I sack the first one for two, and sack the oh, second okay. one for one. So I'm at 17, you're at 22? That's what I got. Here you go. Hmm. Oh, we're going to step back and play? That kind of sucks. That's how it works, dog. Just gonna kill it anyway, don't matter. Hmm. Well, let's head back and play right now. Dang. It's not not annoying. It's not that annoying. They were tacky. For two? <coughs> I'm sorry. Four. <laughs> 18. <laughs> I gotta teach you a lesson. I'm gonna zero this thing. I Come need on. Uh, Go take two. Yep. I'm at 16. Just thought I'd have a chance, you know. Alright. I guess I can just kill. 
Chandra. Perhaps. Attack Chandra. So I'm gonna have a Chandra or you're gonna lose a husk. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Kill Chandra. She did. I should have played this first. Drain you for one. Whatever. Play it first. 17, 16, flop, go. Can I cast all my spells? Guess so, so might as well cast this. State based action, let's check before that ability resolves. Hey, no Chandra, weird. Another Chandra, weird. <laughs> Every time this happens, I'm like, I should just always just cast my Chandra. Yeah, you should. Right, plus it, fight you. Plus it? That's pretty aggressive. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'll take ten. I'm at seven. There you go. Oh, you take two. Both are Chandra. All right, I'm at five. You good? It's great. Passing mm -hmm. loose. That's the way to go. Yep. <laughs> yeah, attack Chandra. Spider. Go. <laughs> Spider. How much can I hit you for? Like a thousand? I don't know. Five life. Walk dead. Walk dead. Kill a guy, I lose. Want to? Can't kill a guy. But I can make an extra one one. Did I do it? I don't know. No. Go to one by blocking advocate and three three. Yep. Yeah, sure. Let's get in there with elemental tokens. What's up? All right, block advocate, block three one. Take four down to one. Then I'll drain you for two. So I go to three. You're at fourteen. These aren't dead quite yet, but they will be soon. Right, your turn. Yes. Chandra, good card. Two weeks in a row. Zero game wins for Todd against Tom, the boss Ross. They don't call him the boss for nothing, guys. So deck building skills. Yep, yeah. Marlon Court the... team good. Uh, I mean, my deck's just full of like some rares, cards that kind of work well together, but all of them are just pretty good on their own. Then when you play like top tier engineer into artifacts, it's like small synergies, I guess. A little bit of anthem. Yeah, I don't know. I keep building these decks that just don't really match up well against Tom's decks. I don't know. I, I I'm not very good at this 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 whole building you know new decks thing. I usually just kind of uh, I don't want to say leech off of Brad and Tom, but I kind of leech off of Brad and Tom. <laughs> and heroic and <laughs> in fact. And Bro yeah. twin. No, I mean this is this is one of the reasons why, you know, like uh people respect Tom a lot is because he builds really good decks, especially in newer formats. You know, like people actually didn't really get Bant Heroic until like two months after, you know, me and Tom had been playing it for, for those two straight months. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, you know, this standard season is gonna be a lot different from anything we've seen in the last like year and a half or two years since cons of Tarkir came out, just because all the decks are going to go from three and four colors all the way back down to two colors, and sometimes even just one color. And, you know, there's going to be a couple three-color decks here and there, but they're going to be significantly worse as far as, like, the mana base is concerned. Um, so it's going to be interesting to kind of see uh, how, you know, people end up building their decks over the next couple months. Um, I don't know. Chandra, very good. Arlen Court seems insane. Yeah, Arlen Court is insane. Gold Knight Cascade seems okay. You can close out the game, but if you have to leave it on blocking... No, oh, that's kind of scary. It's probably just good enough, but... Yeah, I mean, it, I you see. know, it traded for two Zulaport Cutthroats, so it's not even that bad. And then there was the, the game before that where you were ahead and you just killed me with it, you know? Dealt eight damage super fast, and then, you know, even if I had drawn a way to kill it, I was still so far behind that I was just dead anyway. It's like it, a, a riskier <laughs> Storm Breath Dragon that costs one less. Um, doesn't have the good late game stuff, but it's hard to kill. Like, it doesn't die too... Like Grasp of Darkness, for example. Yeah, I mean, having such a high toughness is really good against things like Grasp or anything that gives a minus X, minus X. It kind of has, you know, four and a half toughness, I guess. 
is a good way to put it because uh, the anything that deals damage to it deals double damage. That's why I was able to kill it by just sac sacrificing two creatures and making Hoskin to a 6-6, six, six, but wouldn't kill it if it was just a 4-4. Four, four. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's basically all I got. My deck uh, kind of floundered again, did nothing and died. Uh, had trouble getting through you know, blockages on the ground. Um, I'm not really sure how to fix that. We, uh, we, we've definitely messed around with adding blue to the deck for, uh, Jace to add a little more consistency, as well as being able to rebuy, uh, collect a company and such. Excuse some me. Sadisi's Faithful. Could yeah, and then, back, I guess. Sadisi's Faithful is very good against, uh, tokens in general. When you have, uh, Liliana flipped, um, it allows you on turn four, if you have four mana, to be able to play Liliana, play that, bounce a thing, flip Lily, get a token, and then you can minus Lily for one and just bounce a thing three times in a row if you want. You can take a break off somewhere in there to plus two so that you get two more ways to, to rebuy Faithful. So uh, I think what started as like a decent idea uh, ended up, I, I think, ultimately drawing from um, the weaker parts of what I was trying to do initially. Mm -hmm. And by cutting the color, I was uh, inherently making Liliana a lot worse. You know, I uh, initially had, you know, all the, the Sadisi's faithful tricks and stuff in there and then just cut them. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, you gotta try harder with like bone splinters and combat and yeah, it's hard I don't know. So what's anyway, this weekend? Yeah, so this weekend is the pre-release. Uh, so I guess come to Star City Games home store. Maybe? Yeah, Roanoke. Everybody gets that map for playing a flight. Okay, I guess. Uh, do you want? Do we want to show it off like this or you know, mm -hmm. top do top down? Let's do top down. All right. So this is the play mat. What's it called, Tom? Shadows of kittens over in the straw or shadows over kittens? <laughs> shadows <straw>? over kittens straw. <laughs> yeah, so Jace Kitty uh, coming back for a little more action here with uh, this uh, playmat you get for just signing up for any of our uh, main flight pre release events here at the Star City Games home store in Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, if you can't make it out to our home store, make sure that uh, you just go to your own pre release nearby. You know, yeah, it should just be fun. Do that. I like pre releases, especially this set. Yeah, this set does look, look awesome. You know, there, there's a lot of stuff going on, uh, both in story-wise as well as just, like, throwbacks to original Innistrad, which I'm loving. Mm -hmm. And then, in general, I think that the set just looks looks sweet. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Uh, I'm also looking forward to grilling some steaks because I get to stay home for a week. True. Yeah. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. For Tom Ross, I'm Todd Anderson, and we'll see you soon.